What is going on, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? My name is Prodigy, and welcome to yet another Kingdom Hearts video on the channel. Today, guys, we're going to be continuing to cover the Kingdom Hearts series character files, which covers your favorite and most beloved characters from the Kingdom Hearts franchise. Today's video might be a little bit of a lengthy one because we're going to actually be covering three separate character files all in one video. I kind of feel like these character files kind of go together. We're going to be covering all of Ansem the Wise's and his apprentice. Apprentice's character files. So we're going to be covering Ansem the Wise, Yenzo, and Vexen's. Ansem the Wise and Yenzo's character files are pretty short, while Vexen's is a little bit on the lengthy side. But without further ado, let's get right into Ansem the Wise's story, a peculiar Ansem report. My efforts these many years have come to fruition, with the world I govern having become a paradise worthy of being called Radiant Garden. How long has it been since I first penned that report? It was such a long time ago, yet it feels like it was only yesterday, and now I find myself back in Radiant Garden, researching alongside my apprentices once again. I would never have thought this future possible. I long thought that everything happened due to my own error, but I now see that that was only my pride speaking. I came to despise my own apprentices, because of that I took on the name Darkness and Zero, and swore an oath of revenge upon them. I had no intention of letting my heart be consumed by the darkness gnawing away at it, but perhaps even that arrogance belonged to the darkness. Now I live out my days peacefully. However, I know that people, that entire world, can easily be swallowed by darkness. I now understand that darkness can lurk anywhere. Anyone could succumb to it. However, even in the deepest darkness, one cannot lose sight of that radiant light. Yes, just the same as this most radiant of gardens return to its own former glory. I don't know if the world can yet forgive a fool such as myself, but I will use what remains of my life for atonement. Nothing more, nothing less. A Peculiar Ansem Report by Ansem the Wise Ansem the Wise is such an interesting character to me because I feel like he holds so much knowledge about the Kingdom Hearts series that maybe we as viewers or consumers don't even know about. I'm very fascinated by all of the stuff that he's researched about hearts. I'm very fascinated by all of the stuff that he knows about Subject X. And it seems like he might even have even more secrets on top of that. A lot of the Kingdom Hearts series foundation for the villains comes from Ansem and his apprentices. A lot of his apprentices ending up being part of Organization 13. The apprentice Zay and Orterra and end up leading Organization 13 as his nobody Zemnus. And a lot of the series really wouldn't be the way it was without a character like this one. The name Ansem is just a name that holds so much weight in the Kingdom Hearts series. Ever since Kingdom Hearts 1 has been mentioned, we've been hearing him talked about, we've read his reports, we've immersed ourselves into his knowledge, his his world, his ideals, and it's all very entertaining to read even more of it right here. I'm very interested about what his role in the future may end up being. Right now, it seems like his life is just for him to atone. That seems to be a big word you'll see throughout all of these reports. But it seems like he might hold some even darker secrets than we may have even known already. Mostly about Subject X, which I'm sure some of our main characters might end up having a little war with him over that. So he's definitely a character that I'm going to be keeping my eye on personally going into the next saga. But right now, the man seems to just be chilling, helping us out with the research, and is even helping us trying to find Sora right now. But let's move on. Next up, we have Yenzo's story, Memories of Childhood. How many memories remain from my childhood? I wonder. When I think about hearts and memories, my thoughts always wander there. My memories from when I was very young are terribly vague. Yenzo, where are you? Answer me. I remember well, Evan searching for me with his slightly shrill voice. Ansem the Wise was busy, so often it was Evan who looked after me. I would get scolded for going on walks by myself all the time, but I think that came from a place of love. When it came to my studies, I would also be severely reprimanded any time I made simple mistakes in my calculations. At those times, it was Ansem who was kind to me. He would often buy me sea salt ice cream. That sweet yet salty ice cream was Ansem's favorite, so I too would end up eating it quite often. That reminds me, I have a feeling Evan would often get angry with Ansem for that. He would say Ansem was spoiling me too much. Thinking back on it, he may have just been using me as an excuse to have ice cream. Even now, the memories of my time in those radiant gardens are vividly clear. For this reason, my betrayal could never be excused, but that 
was a lie. Now, for the sole purpose of atonement, I live on. So it seems like a lot of the people in Ansem's like little group are here to atone now. A lot of them are return Organization 13 members who completely regret what they did. They realized a lot of the tragedy they caused or added to throughout the world, Kingdom Hearts 1 and after and maybe even before. And they realized how much of a heavy burden they put on characters like Sora and the other Guardians of Light. Ultimately helping out Xehanort and his plans. Though of course it didn't last very long as we saw in Kingdom Hearts 3. I was actually very shocked by Enzo's role in particular in Kingdom Hearts 3 because I didn't expect him to have as much of a presence as he did. He helped us a lot figure out what was going on inside of Sora. Of course, a lot of us viewers knew that Roxas, Ventus, etc. were a part of Sora, but helping Sora find that out and keeping that continuity there, Enzo did a very good job at that in Kingdom Hearts 3. And I found his character very entertaining. His interactions with Sora were really interesting because you have this very smart character who's all into research and tech savvy like Yenzo. Then you have someone who, as we found out in Kingdom Hearts 3, who was tech illiterate in Sora, which is pretty funny, I think. We're definitely going to be seeing more of Ansem and his apprentices in the future, and I hope Yenzo comes with that. I really liked how he stepped up in Kingdom Hearts 3 while Ansem was gone. So I can imagine that Ansem was pretty proud of Yenzo as he uh, found all of the stuff Yenzo did, how he helped out Sora and the gang. It's pretty cool when you think about it. it kind of came full circle. Ansem and Evan were the adults like looking after Yenzo and when they were gone Yenzo stepped up and you know did his thing. But moving on though we're going to be going to the bulk character file. This one is very very long. Uh, we have Vexen's story Flowers for Intelligence. What do you think it means to be truly wise? By continuing to make these dolls I had hoped I would come to comprehend the heart. I did or rather I should say I understood the things that I would never be able to comprehend about hearts. Moreover, I continue to contemplate what it means to be wise. One cannot consider intelligence a separate matter from the heart. For example, say you implanted a brain of advanced intellect in a wild animal. After its intelligence increased, would that animal feel the same things that it felt before, or would those feelings differ as one might expect? If intelligence does indeed change the way one feels about the world, then would it not follow that the heart and the mind are intimately related? Increasingly, these are the conclusions I arrive at. We were able to put hearts in our replicas if we wanted to. We could also elevate their intellectual faculties by any amount. However, my presumption is that being wise is something different entirely. Or rather, I should say, that is something I only came to understand once I saw the Keyblade Hero for myself. Self. Or maybe this is still just another attempt of mine to understand it. Sometimes the Keyblade Hero takes seemingly foolish actions, but is that foolishness truly at odds with wisdom? I did not think it likely. In terms of sheer results, those foolish actions may in fact have led to the most ideal outcome. If that is the case, then I have started to think that perhaps being wise is a deceitful concept, and it is the fools who are truly the wise among us. When it comes down to it, I cannot understand why wiseness for the same reasons that I cannot understand hearts. It may be something that cannot be reduced to numbers and charts. This is the conclusion I have derived as a scientist. Setting that aside of the original 13, I have chosen to be the most foolish of all. In practice, I suppose I was not the one who made that choice, but I agreed to it. So there is no functional difference. I arrived at my conclusion that the most foolish person of all is actually the wisest, thanks to the Keyblade here. If I told the person himself my hypothesis, I'm sure he and his friends would be angry, but it would be simply the truth. Unfortunately, I was wrong all along. The wisdom I thought I had cultivated was at best idiocy. I thought I was trying to be wise so I could be useful to someone, but I lost sight of that goal somewhere along the way. Before I knew it, all I had chased after was intelligence. My scientific findings were all I cared about. I can only say that I was clearly just foolish. Thus, given my theory, I could be considered the most foolish of all. But no, the most foolish of people wrap all the way around to become the wisest, and I could only dream of being so wise. And now, thanks to the one who appears to be little more than a dunce, the wise man's plans will fall to ruin. For that purpose, I, right now, live on. That is my atonement. Men like us, in the pursuit of science, we sometimes make terrible mistakes, lose sight of our mission to help people, but now I can help someone with my research. Now I can atone. 
Yes, Demix time, the fool exclaimed. There is no one more important than him. This is perfectly suited for him after all. Yes, that is the marker of a wise person. Be honest about yourself and don't lose sight of who you are. I cannot afford to dwell on the past. Even now, I don't mind warming the bench as long as my will is there. All his clever plans will be no match for the fool in front of me. I'm sure of it. I pray that our plan to outwit the wise man actually works. It's all for forgiveness. Vexen story, flowers for intelligence. That was a very enjoyable read. As I've said in many other videos, I've enjoyed the non-recap stories the most, and uh, these stories aren't really recaps at all. They give you insights into the minds of these characters leading into certain events. For Ansem's, it seems like his took place after Cage 3, what his mind was like after he did everything he did, and was once again reunited with his apprentices. All he cared about at that point was not revenge, wasn't any thoughts of anger he just wants to atone and help people it seems same thing with the Enzo essentially for Vexen a very similar thing but you get insight into what his thought process was leading into that cutscene with Demix which I really enjoy it's really funny how he came to the conclusion that these fools as I'm sure he's talking about Sora Don and Goofy are able to outwit all of these more intelligent people time and time again and he eventually came to the conclusion that the same thing is likely going to happen with Xehanort, so he took his opportunity to betray Xehanort, and he wanted to atone as well, so he did what he thought was best, and wanted to put a fool in front of a wise man. Vexen, however, it's weird, because Vexen was never a necessarily super standout character, I don't know if that's the right word to use, he was definitely standout, he was way different from a lot of the other organization members, we knew that he was essentially Ansem's right-hand man, or the only one who could probably compete with Ansem in terms of knowledge, but I don't really recall him being in that many cutscenes outside of like Rechain of Memories, and even in that game, it's not like he's in that many. But when you think about it, he is a huge reason that we're able to bring back characters like Namine, Shion, Roxas at all because of the replica program. He's a big reason that Seekers of Darkness had their 13 Seekers of Darkness. The entire thing about replicas in Kingdom Hearts is likely going to be a huge factor going forward to bring maybe key characters character's hearts into the future as well. Vexen with the replicas, he debatably has created one of the most important plot elements in Kingdom Hearts history, and he has that title. He's the one who created the replicas. Vexen is a very cool character in my books, and I would love to see more of him in the future because his character is really, really entertaining, and I love seeing him interact with characters the most. Like, his interaction with Demix in Kingdom Hearts 3 was extremely entertaining. I love that. And I hope to see more interactions with him, like what Sora or maybe the Master or whoever else like you know is put in that position where they're in a conversation with Vexen. They spent a lot of their lives researching the heart yet still feel like they know absolutely nothing about it because the heart is extremely unpredictable. Nothing that as they say you can define by charts and numbers. But that is going to about do it for today's video though guys. I really did enjoy this character files. I really really was looking forward to this one. It's been on my radar for a while. Uh, we have a lot of the Seekers of Darkness left after this one, but before we get into the Seekers of Darkness, the next uh, trio I'm going to be doing is going to be the Birth by Sleep trio. I don't think I'm going to do all of them in one video because all of their stories are pretty lengthy, but for this one I did because two of them were pretty short and only one was a little bit of normal length. But we are actually reaching the end of the Character file series. Uh, we have like a decent bit more, like I'd say we have about 10 plus more, I'd say, plus some worlds, but I don't know if I'm going to cover the Disney world because that's really all that's left regarding worlds for character files. But if you guys want me to cover it, I mean, I will, uh, because you guys seem to have been enjoying the character files quite a lot, and I've been enjoying reading them. So as long as you guys are enjoying them, then I'll continue to uh, cover them. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, share the video with a friend or a family member, and last but not least, if you're not already and want to become a part of the union, all you have to do is hit that red little subscribe button down below. My name is Prodigy, and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out.